Well, the race is on for who will be the next mayor of Elkhart. Republican mm -hmm. Tim Neese is challenging incumbent Democrat Dick Moore. Moore is 81, seeking a third term in office. Neese is 60, seeking his first. WSBT 22 Suzanne Spencer is here. And Suzanne, you sat down with both candidates. I did. We talked about annexation, LGBT protections, and downtown growth. Those are just a few of the things I talked about with those Elkhart mayoral candidates. And aside from their differing backgrounds and strategies, each candidate has led a very different campaign. The people of Elkhart will have a choice to make on November 3rd, Democrat Dick Moore or Republican Tim Neese. I'm not done. I don't want to quit. This has been my life for a long time. This is my 39th year in this government in one position or another. Moore was the former fire chief and worked for the street department, retiring twice with the city before winning the mayoral election in 2007. Nice is the director of the Solid Waste Management District, a former state representative and former HR director for Chris Craft Boats. I'm not running to come in second. Uh, I want to be a good administrator. Uh, I'm not running uh, a bell cart for a legacy. I'm running to do a good job. Candidates disagreed about annexation, a controversial move by Mayor Dick Moore, who says he's put the issue to rest for now, but might revisit it should he be reelected. I never was the annexation guru. I wanted the compact free and just go on the way we were, leave them stay, stay outside the city and go on the way they were. But Nice disagrees with the current administration's tactics. It was the method, it was lack of communication, it was information that was contradictory or phone calls that were not returned on the part of the city. That would not happen in a Nice administration. Both have ideas to spur downtown growth, more saying the downtown plaza area could use work while Nice wants to add additional restaurants, specialty shops, and retail businesses. A more divisive issue is whether the city should add LGBT protections to the civil rights ordinance, something Mayor Moore says he intended to do, but has not yet done so. When I put it to the council, I put it there for one reason, and that would just be sure that no one was left behind. That's all it was to it. Just something simple, in my opinion. And it didn't turn out to be so simple. Nice hopes legislation could come down at the state level that would be consistent statewide, but isn't opposed to some local change. What I would want is to just simply, if the verbiage needed to be changed in the city of Elkhart, is that uh, everyone's welcome, we're not going to discriminate. Now, while their views are different on several of those issues you heard about, so are the way that they've each approached their campaigns. Here's some numbers for you. Now, Dick Moore brought in a total of $140,432 in campaign contributions and spent about $43,982 of that money. Tim Neese, on the other hand, brought in about $121,415 and spent about $10,377.